Right from the start, the new administration moved left. And now, after only, what, three weeks, some important people are saying, hold on, not so fast. For example, one of the very first things President Biden did was to kill the Keystone Pipeline. That pleased the climate crowd. But others in the Democrat Party are not so happy. Big Labour, for a start. We showed you Richard Trumka, the AFL-CIO leader. He, over the weekend, he made clear the administration should, and he thinks will, reconsider the pipeline because well-paid union jobs are at stake. On Monday, Fox News' Peter Ducey followed up with questions to Jen Psaki about those lost pipeline jobs. Watch this. When it is and where it is that they can go for their green job, and that is something the administration has promised, uh, there is now a gap. So I'm just curious when that happens, when those people can count on that. Well, I'd certainly welcome you to present your data of all the thousands and thousands of people who uh, won't be getting a green job. Maybe next time you're here, you can well, present that. Right. So how about this? Uh, the Laborers International Union of North America said the Keystone decision will cost 1,000 existing union jobs and 10,000 projected construction jobs. As the president has indicated when he gave his prime time address uh, to talk about the American Rescue Plan, he talked about his plans to also put forward a jobs plan uh, in, the, in the weeks or months following. But uh, there are people living paycheck to paycheck. There are now people out of jobs. When do they get their green job? He has every plan to uh, share more about his uh, details of that plan in the, in the weeks ahead. I think they're scrambling to keep big labor and the climate warriors inside the big Democrat tent. They are really feeling the pressure here. And here's some more pressure on the jobs issue. Another warning. The $15 an hour minimum wage plan is a guaranteed job killer, but it is a mainstay of the far left policy agenda. The government's own bean counters, the CBO, they say that the $15 an hour kills 1.4 million jobs and it would hit young people and minorities particularly hard. So the new team came right out of the box with policies that appeal to their left wing. Now comes the pushback to modify, to compromise maybe. I know the left, they won't do it. They believe this is their moment and if they don't push forward their socialist dream is lost. It's a split party. An administration trying desperately to keep it together. You'll see plenty of political theatre with the second Trump impeachment. You'll see a lot more of it as the Democrat Party fights its internal battles. Richard Trumka won't be the only one putting on the pressure.